Chris, tell us about Autonomous Florida and your role with the, that organization. Of course, uh, my name is Chris Freemanuel. I'm the director of Autonomous Florida. Autonomous Florida is a working group of the Florida Chamber of Commerce, and our goal is to make Florida the autonomous capital of North America. We've brought together a diverse group of businesses from landowners, insurers, OEMs, uh, telecom providers, all of these folks that are interested to see how autonomous vehicles will impact Florida's economy. So tell us, you know, within the insurance industry, this concept of autonomous vehicles is a big deal, and there's a lot of concern and excitement at the same time about the future and what that means to the insurance industry. Can you weed through some of the hype and tell us, you know, where's uh, the the reality of autonomous vehicles right now and, and where you see it in the future and how it's going to play out? Well, there's a lot to that question. Uh, <laughs> let me take the, the first part first. Um, autonomous vehicles are coming. Florida's already has five deployments across the state. You can hop into an autonomous vehicle right now. And Florida's got some of the most pro-autonomous regulations on the books. Uh, we had our first set in 2012, and uh, the Florida legislature six days ago just passed a new set of regulations it's welcoming this industry. What it looks like is still a little bit up in the air. We've got great technology that we believe is going to make the world much safer. But how these autonomous vehicles are deployed, what the land use looks like, what the insurance requirements look like, are still questions that uh, have yet to be answered. So where do you see it playing? I mean, do you see autonomous vehicles being actively uh, adopted by the general public within the next five years, or is it further out than that? That's probably right at the cusp. Um, the Florida Chamber of Commerce does a lot of uh, uh, polling data, and we find that Floridians are more accepting of autonomous vehicles than almost any other state. So we do believe that there's a market for this. Uh, once people interact with an autonomous vehicle, they get far more comfortable. Uh, Autonomous Florida is fortunate to have paired with the Society of Automotive Engineers and other partners to bring the public to experience autonomous vehicles for themselves. We've done that across the state in three different places and expect to see more of those events. I think when people get more familiar with this technology, the deployment aspects and the business cases get stronger.